So here we are in the position where water landing is necessary. We've run out of fuel and the thing what we want to do, the thing what we want to do, what we want to do, which may seem a little illogical, is actually tilt down. If you're in a position where you're slowing down and you're tilting up, then you're going to slow your uh, horizontal speed, your forwards and backwards momentum, but you're going to start falling very fast. So what you do now is you increase that fall speed, and as you start, see, you should be speeding up, just, you know, bring it down a bit more, start speeding up, and when we get under, say, a thousand meters, and this is for the emergency water landing, if I haven't already mentioned, start tilting up very, very gradually. Basically, this is transferring our gained uh, horizontal momentum into forwards momentum, so we can come in at a very shallow angle. Which is exactly what we're doing now. As you can see from all the tilting that's going on, to stay very, very shallow, pointing down, and at about 300 we can start pulling it right up. So this needle starts creeping back up. Looking good, slowing down, pull it right up, there we are, perfect. Now you wouldn't expect those parts to survive really, uh, this is the Kerbal Space Program after all, but there you go, so that is the flight sequence that you will want to follow when you have to abort and have a water landing basically tilt down as much as you can, uh, as much as you feel safe doing I should say, tilt down and get to that position where you're falling rather fast and you can start pulling back up, I'm actually doing hand signals at the moment by the way, <laughs> ridiculous, you can start pulling back up which is transferring it into that horizontal momentum so that you come in at such a shallow angle that you can just touch down and uh, there you go.